history, man has been trying to learn more about how the plant kingdom works. This isn't just to satisfy our curiosity. This knowledge is vital to us. Trees and plants put food on our table, give us wood to work with, and provide a vast array of other resources. We are completely dependent on them. Torgny Nasholm is studying how plants get their nutrition, and his findings have turned what we thought we knew upside down. When I talk to people who studied agronomy several decades ago, they get very surprised. Uh, this is still not in the textbooks. The internet doesn't seem to be up to date either. Of all these pictures, I cannot find one that is correct. So what is it really that Torgner discovered that neither textbooks nor the internet is keeping up with? Well, the soil contains nutrition that trees and plants can take up. And out of all the nutrients, one of the most important ones is nitrogen. For roughly 100 years, the science community believed that the plants only get their nitrogen through ammonium and nitrate. But Torgny's research has revealed that this is not correct. There is something else there, too. Another big source of nitrogen, namely amino acids. And for pines and spruce trees, these amino acids are their main source of nitrogen. Using this machine, Torgny and his colleague Sandra collect amino acids, which are in the ground. Sometimes we say that this is like putting your ear against the ground and listening to what's happening down there. In the traditional way of doing soil science, you go out in the field with a shuffle and you bring soil samples to the lab. We have instead started using this small device, uh, which is much less invasive because it's similar to a root in size and it has similar functions as a root also. Torgny's journey has required a lot of patience and persistence because the path to these results has not been a straightforward one. Experimental research, you start with a hypothesis and you design an experiment. And in my experience, results from uh, experiments often come and hit you in the head and explain to you that you were totally wrong. The challenge then is to repeat the experiment with a new approach, uh, with a new idea and a new hypothesis. By chance, Torgny and his colleagues came in contact with a forestry company who wanted to talk about fertilizers. And then things really started happening. Could it be possible to make better fertilizers with amino acids as an ingredient? Torgny's fertilizer looks like little white pellets, and the unique thing in this fertilizer are these crystals. The crystals contain the amino acid arginine. They release a little at a time and can provide a boost in nutrition for at least one year. In previous trials, Torgny has seen that the spruce and pine trees receiving arginine have a much better developed root system. Now we will look at the seedling that has not received any fertilizer when it was planted. When you cultivate tree seedlings in nurseries, you do that under more or less optimal conditions with uh, light, nutrients and, and water. And after that, when you plant them out in the field, they get into some kind of shock because they come into a very different situation with much less resources. And there have been attempts to overbridge this, uh, this shock by adding nutrients, but with very poor results. Let's look at seedlings that received this small dose of special fertilizer last year, well, exactly one year from now. Here is one example. Oh, wow, you can directly see the difference in shoot length. And you also see the length of the needles here. The fertilized plant has much longer needles and the size of the buds, astonishing difference. But the most interesting part is, of course, what has happened below ground. Let's have a look at the root system. Oh, wow. 
The new roots that are formed after planting, they are really crucial for the seedling to survive the first tough years. But the addition of nutrients like nitrogen in agriculture can be problematic. Rainfall and melting snow can bring these nutrients into the waterways. In the right place, nitrogen is a fantastic substance, but in the wrong place, it can be detrimental. This additional dose of nutrients contributes to eutrophication in lakes and seas, which often leads to severe algae blooms, which in the long term depletes oxygen in the water and creates dead zones, inhabitable for life down there. But when the nutrients in the fertilizer come from amino acids, like in Torgny's fertilizer, the nitrogen doesn't leak out into the water as easily. It's held onto in the ground. Such a well-developed root system. And the only difference to this, this one is the small amount, not even 0.1 kilos of, of nitrogen per hectare. For most scientists, having the chance to see how their findings come into practical use is a long way off. But Torgny has gone from discovery to developing several kinds of environmentally friendly plant nutrition, products that today have been used for over 100 million trees. For this, Torgny Nasholm was awarded the 2018 Marcus Wallenberg Prize the largest forest research award in the world. <laughs>